Meet your family. Check this out. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it or not. Check out my shirt. <laughs> this is not the cutest. My sweatshirt. I'm so freaking cold. I'm actually, I'm actually not, but <laughs> I thought it was so cute. I saw somebody wear it um, on a Facebook thing, and I'm like, I gotta have that. So I did some research, and I ordered it from Amazon, and I got it the day before yesterday. First chance I've had to wear it. So, um, today, today was supposed to be a light day. Today was supposed to be a day when I actually got to rest a bit and relax. Got it this morning, went over to see my dad and took him some a junior breakfast burrito from Sonic because he's not been eating well. He really doesn't like that food. You know, it's hospital food, so what are you going to do? But I uh, took him this over, and I, was, I wasn't there long because I needed to go shopping. I needed to go pick up my son's Christmas, and I thought, when I got done with that, I'm like, okay, it's almost noon. I want to go home and spend lunch with my husband because he comes home for lunch every day. And I thought I would come home and spend time with him. And I did that. And then I went sh to Target to pick up my son's Christmas. And then I went to Kroger because I was going to try to get the Christmas ham that we always have. Well, guess what? No Christmas ham. Um, we always get a spiral ham. And I don't want a giant ham because it always ends up going going bad or going to waste. Even though I could freeze it. But right now, I honestly don't have room in my freezer for anything. Sorry about that kicking the stand here um but and, and I ended up not getting home until well after three o'clock and then of course I gotta turn around and fix dinner and then so this is the first time I've had to sit um actually I've been sitting for about 30 minutes so 30 minutes ago was the first time I've actually had a chance to sit but I did want to show you guys something I got in the mail that I ordered and Got my dent buddies. And when I got it, they were having a deal where you they doubled the order. So I got one. Let's see how many's in here. We have let's see. Wait, I think stuff right. Oh yeah. In each one there is in each package there is two. So this is gonna be really handy when I start traveling to Nashville every week. I'm gonna have to go once a week to Nashville for my nursing refresher course. Oh, sorry, it's a, <clears throat> just five minutes ago. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and I'm dropping them on the floor. Twenty, twenty, twenty. I got a total of twenty-four. So I ordered twelve, and they doubled them, so I got twenty-four. So that's going to be so, 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 so neat. And these are washable. I mean, if I wanted to. I can rewash them, but I'm going to throw, um, let's see, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to have a couple at my desk, I'm going to throw a couple in the bathroom, I'm going to put a couple in my car, my glove box, throw a couple, I have a little travel bag in my, in, that I keep in my purse that has like snack things in it in case I get stuck somewhere, and um, I'm trying to be fiscally responsible, so I'm trying not to eat out. So I try, I, if I get hungry and I'm not home yet, or I've got a little bit of ways to go home, I can grab a snack out of my purse, either some almond butter or a, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a Quest Bar that I eat. Quest Bar, or I grab, um, I keep one of these little Atkins low-carb chocolate mint wafer bar in my purse. So I keep those in there. And my fat bars. Sorry. It's just one of those kind of days, but I also keep um, a couple of these thrown in my purse. These are like keto fat, they come fat bombs, they're like peanut butter, it's kind of like a peanut butter cup, kind of like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's um, not overly sweet, and it's got coconut MCT oil because I'm on the keto diet, well, I have been cheating lately, but anyway, um, so that, anyway, that Dent, Dent Buddies thing was awesome, and I also got, where is it at? Oh, yes. I haven't even opened it yet, but my box of denture bit came in the mail also. So I had a pretty heavy mail day. Um, really happy with that. Noisy. Yes. Got my order of denture fit. 
that I'm keeping handy. I've got inch of fit in both my uppers and lowers right now. But I think I have, no, I just have a primer in there. Um, yeah, I don't have any more. That was all I had. But that's what I got. So I had a pretty good day today with the, the denture stuff. This, and this is so awesome because they sent it, they packed it in this and then sealed it. And then it came in another power, because it's just need a power to nail. So it came in this, this little package right here. So. Yeah. And I mean, they sent it Priority Mail Express, so that's like way cool. Honestly, wow. I didn't pay that much for shipping. Honestly, look at this. This is how, I mean, look at that. Is that crazy or not? So you can see it or not. Yep, $20, for shipping. Maybe because I waited it just so long because it's been 20 days, I think. I think I ordered it right at the end of November or right at the very beginning of December. I can't remember. I'll have to look. But I can't believe they paid so much for that shipping. Wow. And I didn't pay that much. So, wow. Very cool. So they, I guess they did into a bit of profit there in order to get it to me in a timely manner. So these people are just, I mean, it's been phenomenal to work with to, to keep ordering. So I'm definitely going to keep ordering from these people. Um, because they are really trying to take care of their customers. So sorry I'm not looking at the camera, but you know, I'm just kind of, my office is a bit of a mess. But um, that's what I got. Got my mother-in-law's Christmas gift, right? This is a couple of um, prayer books. And I got her a lovely... This is a Mary Kay hand cream that I got for her, pomegranate. And you know, my father-in-law, I have no idea what to get for him, but a light bulb just went off. And no, I know I need to ship it like, and I have to ship it out tomorrow and I will have to pay quite a bit for shipping, but I'm going to bake him some cookies. That's a gift I can give my father-in-law that I know that he'll love. Because I mean, what can you get somebody who has everything? So I'm going to put a lot of love in it. I'm going to bake some cookies. And it's going to be cookies made with love from us. So, yeah. I want you to think about these two. Look at those. Those look pretty. These are the little, um, nail, it's like sticker things that you put on your nails. That, uh, I think Jane Berry sells something like that. It's, the, it's like a third party thing. But I found these at Walmart for five bucks. So, anyway. Watch what you got. Look at that. I got something on my. Hmm. I don't know, but. Hmm. I'm just, it must have creeped down the side. But. I mean, this is hard. I mean, this is not. It's not like a soft, like a Reese's cup. So. Yes, I do have powder adhesive in my uppers. But check out uh, Donna Stone's channel, Chumper, Chumper Chat. She made a video today about how um, she was causing her own problem with her dentures. Because she was um, having problems with gagging in the back. And um, she would break the suction in order to relieve that. But she also noticed, you know, that she would, I'm <coughs> sorry. She would grind her teeth too, and it causes <coughs> pressure on your gums. I don't grind my teeth, but I did notice that the few times that I did not, that I've not used it, he said I've just gone with the suction, and I have done that. Um, I'd break it just playing with it out of, I guess, habit, something. I don't know. But anyway, I know that the glue them. With the powder adhesive. I don't use much. I use just barely a layer. Just enough to give it some stability. But. This is really good. I love this. Like a little dessert after dinner. But. Anyway. I've got a really bad habit. I'm playing with my lowers 
around the bottoms of um, my bottoms. Breaking them in, moving them around. When I'm eating, a lot of times I'll do that. Just kind of run my tongue underneath there and get out any residue. Especially if I'm eating in front of other people. I find myself doing that. That's some hard chocolate. Mmm. But it's so good. Mm-hmm. Sorry guys, I gotta wash it down. Cook zero. The only soda that does not have, let's see, what does it have? It does have aspartame, but this is the only one that does not have maltitol in it. Aspartame, where it isn't great for you, which is why I do limit these, um, aspartame, I think they, they say they've linked it to cancer. Like this, but there's, I mean, how many things have been linked to cancer nowadays? Everything. So just don't eat, don't drink, don't do anything, and you hopefully won't get cancer. But anyway, um, it's the only soda that does not have maltitol in it. And maltitol or maltodextrin are the high, one, two of the highest glycemic index sweeteners that there are out there. So Coke Zero, Pe Pepsi O, neither one have um, that type of sweetener. Now, I got that because I was out and I, did, I had drank it all on my water and I needed something now. Most of the time when I'm home, if I drink a soda, I drink this. It's called Zebia. It is, has no aspartame in it. It is only sweetened with stevia. That's it. Stevia leaf, leaf extract. That's all it has. So, anyway. Pretty good. I think I'm rambling. Am I rambling? Just one of those days. This day I thought was going to be a light day. I thought it was going to be an easy day, but ended up going to the grocery, going tar to Target, going to the grocery store, trying to get Christmas dinner ready. Tomorrow's going to be a rough day because I get my last, my very last injection. Yay! It's the very last one in my last round of physical therapy. I get that in my left knee tomorrow, but as soon as I get done with that, we have to jet over to the other side of town, and my husband gets an injection in his back. So, my appointment's at 9 o'clock. His is at 11, but I'll be done with mine because I have 30 minutes of therapy, and then 30 minutes for the shot, and then I ice it and do a laser treatment. So, hey, I do want to say one thing. All you people out there, if you have knee problems, take the glasses off. Maybe they won't be so glaring. If you have knee problems, osteoarthritis, anything like that, I've got tracking in my knee, I've got the osteoarthritis, I mean, check around. If you're thinking about having knee injections, um, especially the hyaluronic acid that I'm, like I'm getting, there's a lot of places there that are doing seminars on stem cell injections. And stem cell is it's an ethically obtained stem cells. I think they get it, if I remember correctly, they get it from like umbilical cord blood that has been donated by the mothers as after their babies are born. And it's one thing that we were uh, planning on doing with Sean, but um, I didn't know about it until he was almost due and we would have had to go through testing and this and that and the other. And, and there just wasn't time to get everything done in order to donate his uh, umbilical cord blood. You can have it stored for yourself too if, you know, if you're young enough to have a baby, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm too old for it now. But, anyway, if you're thinking about getting these type of injections, check around before you make a decision on who you want to do your injections. I have a friend who's had a set of three injections. They're not doing any physical therapy. They're not doing any of the brace that I'm doing, the uh, icing, the laser treatments that I'm doing, and... He's only had three three injections in his knee, and they're already talking about, okay, it's not working, so we're going to have to do a knee, knee replacement. I really, really recommend you guys, if you're thinking about any kind of procedure like that, check around before you make a decision, and ask around other people who've had them, if, did they work? I know that I have another friend who had the hyaluronic gels, and hers worked great. 
and it could be that maybe he does need a knee replacement. I don't know, but at any rate, he's not getting any of the advantages that I'm getting. Advantages that I'm getting. Sometimes I'll talk too fast. And with all that, I think that's because I'm feeling like I'm at a good 75, 80% improvement at this point with both of my knees. Um, and that's amazing, even even with all the, the therapy and stuff I'm getting with it. My right knee does still pop and crack sometimes, and I do still have pain in them sometimes. But for the most part now, where my pain was chronically a one or a two, it's now a zero. I mean, that's daily. If I overuse it, then yeah, I'll have, I'll have pain for a while, but it generally goes away. So I'm able, I went to Dollywood Monday and walked around for two and a half hours, hit every roller coaster there was. And I, for the, at the beginning, I had no problems going up and down the stairs. You know, at once I wore my knees out. Yeah, that last ride was rough getting up at those steps. But, um, I'd also just had knee injection that day too, so. And I just taken my brace off when I went in there, so. Anyway, just make sure you check around, ask around. Find the right provider, one that's going to do everything possible to help your procedure work. If that means physical therapy, if that means wearing a brace, whatever that means. Same thing with your dentures. I mean, check around, ask around. Whether you choose to go to a chain place like Affordable or Aspen, like I did. Whether you choose to go private. Whether you choose to go to a school. Make sure that they are doing everything they can to make this work for you. Um, right now that with Aspen, at least the one that I'm going to, they've been great and they're adamant about it. if there are any problems, please call us. Now it does take me a little while to get in once I get through to them. And sometimes I have to try several times, even after leaving a message, they don't, they're not good about returning messages, but once I get through to them, they're really quick about getting me an appointment. And, but sometimes I do have to wait a week or so in order to get one, but that's okay. They're still, you know, not, not ready to write me off. Because, I, I mean, I do have a warranty, and they do want me happy. I've already sent one couple to them. Granted, they, don't, they didn't, have this, didn't have the same dentist that I had, because they have new dentists there now. They had just the one when I went. Now they have three there, but they're three different ones. And I met one of them who did the adjustment on mine. His name was Jason. I can't remember his last name. Oh, well. Anyway, whether it's getting me injections like I am, getting back injection like my husband is, um, is he still going through the physical therapy and chiropractic treatments, even when he's going to a different doctor to get the injection? The chiropractic clinic he's going to can't do the injection, so let's send him over to the orthopedic doctor. Anyway, just make sure Make sure you're getting the right people and you're getting the right treatment. If you're not happy with it, go somewhere else. If, if at all possible, if you haven't already started the process and are kind of caught into it with the money especially, don't make a snap decision, when it comes, especially when it comes to your dentures. Don't make a snap decision because a, a lot of times, these, especially these chain ones, they'll get you in there and just rush you through getting... Um, getting your x-rays and getting your in to see the doctor and okay the doctor walks in there and says, okay this is what it is your teeth are bad we got to take them all out so let's just let's schedule it and we're going to do this next week or whenever so you know let's get the finances down then they then they take you uh parade you down to the financial office and you go through all the finances and it's all like they're assuming you could at any point you can say okay stop i need to think about this for a minute let me think about this, and I will call you back. Or I'll, I'll, let's, let me schedule the time to come back, and we'll just go over all this. Oops. 
I know, but that was a knocked off. That knocks it off my desk. But I, like I said, at any time you can stop and say, "Hey, I need to back off. I need to think for a minute before we do this." So you know, check check your options. See what your options are. Okay. I am now going to shut this off. I'm going to say good night for the night, and then I am going to open up my computer and pull up the video from, that we took Monday for Monday night's choir rehearsal. They sent us a video so because we we're dancing too, so we can see our steps. And I'm going to invite all of you to watch um, Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. live at OneLifeKnox.com. They will be showing it live, and that will be our Christmas performance. And they will have it. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to show it live also at the 6 p.m. Sunday night and the 4 p.m. Monday night performances. So, you guys are all invited to watch. OneLifeKnox.com It's OneLife, O-N-E-L-I-F-E-K-N-O-X.com to watch our live Christmas performance. And you will see me stage right on your left, stage right on the very end. Okay? You guys, have a wonderful, blessed night. I will see you soon. God bless. See you next time.